educators, musicians, actors, physicians, monastic nuns. Could it be any more diverse? Yes, apparently so, and happily, according to a senior citizen in Truro, Massachusetts. Joyce Johnson is a sculptor, carver, teacher, environmentalist who has lived close to nature with few conveniences most of her adult life. Since 1929, Joyce first spent summers on Cape Cod with family. After graduating from the School of the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston, she ventured forth to expand her skills at the Escuela of Artes in Madrid. When she returned to Cape Cod, she inherited a tiny plot of land and then single-handedly poured the foundation for her rustic home and started building. She acquired a book on masonry, built a fireplace, chimney, and added bits and pieces growing a house along the way. Her little abode has no electricity, lights with oil lamps, heats with wood, and has a refrigerator on gas. Joyce is 75 years young and unstoppable in her dueling passions, preserving the wonders of the Cape shoreline, especially the dune shacks, and creating in several medium. These wonderful dune shacks in the, along the Atlantic coast to between Truro and Provincetown were going to be bulldozed or eradicated. And so we, those are places not, it's not that the, they're architecturally marvelous, they were all, most of them put together by scraps of this and that and the other thing. It's that when you have the space out there, you are able to really be present in the environment and it's so gorgeous. It's so wonderful out there, no matter what the weather is. And uh, that's, that's been a uh, combination of cultural and environmental preservation uh, that I've been involved with. So I and a couple friends started mixing cement, put in the footing, lifted the house to fit on the footing with jacks, and it was so easy we just decided, oh well, let's go up and make another room. That sort of established the house and I kept on building after that, so now it's four, four and a half.